On today's menu, a recipe that proves easy and delicious is a possibility. Tomato and caper, spaghetti. Le Homa, I'm Will Young from YoungMenCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This recipe is incredibly delicious, and of course, it's really easy to put together. Let's begin. Preheat the oven to 400. Slice in half about 550 grams cherry tomatoes. Place the tomatoes into a large mixing bowl. Four hundred ml can chickpeas. You can save the chickpea water or aquafaba for other recipes. Rinse and drain the chickpeas with some water. Add the chickpeas into the bowl. Season with some salt and pepper. generous pinch of oregano, drizzle of olive oil, toss, pour the tomatoes and chickpeas onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Spread out the tomatoes and chickpeas. Flip the tomatoes to skin side down. Bake in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. The whole purpose of flipping those tomatoes to the skin side down is so that the rounded part of the tomato is on the pan so that more air can actually circulate around that tomato. Bring some water to boil for the pasta. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Cook the pasta to package instructions. In this episode, I'm using about 150 grams of spaghetti. When the pasta is done, save about a quarter cup of pasta water. Strain the pasta and set aside. Place the pot back on the stove. Medium heat. By the way, if you have pots that have metal handles, please remember that they are extremely hot. So definitely have some sort of cloth or oven mitts will also be great. Man, that smells delicious. That looks amazing as well. Now for this recipe, we'll basically be using about half of this tray, but if you bake more ahead of time, then you can skip this entire step the next time you make this again. Drizzle of olive oil. Garlic. Saute for one to two minutes. Add half of the roasted tomatoes and chickpeas to the pot. You can save the rest for later, or you can use it all now. It's completely up to you. Saute for a couple of minutes. Pasta. Two tablespoons capers. Pasta water. Stir and cook for a couple of minutes. Season with salt and pepper. Add a handful of fresh basil leaves. Turn off the heat and give it a stir.
weight. Squeeze a fresh lemon juice. Lemon zest. Finish with a drizzle of olive oil. You can now enjoy this delicious pasta with absolute confidence. I just love cooking recipes like this at home. It's just so beautiful and rustic. It's recipes like this that just screams comfort. I love the al dente kind of elasticity kind of texture from the noodles. And you get that kind of contrasting texture from the tomatoes, the capers. This has that soft, chewy texture and the tomatoes just holds this kind of burst of delicious, kind of sweet, a little bit of acidity. And the capers also kind of have that mini explosion of tanginess, which really complements the fresh lemon juice that brings everything together with this delicious, bright flavor, along with the lemon zest that adds a touch of that aromatic experience. And that goes really well with the delicious, aromatic, fragrance, fresh basil. When you roast the tomatoes in the oven, it actually dries up a lot of that moisture. So in turn, it actually intensifies the flavor of the tomatoes. And then you get the fruity flavor from that delicious olive oil. And the reserved pasta water has that starch in it. So it actually kind of brings everything together and has all that flavor and the tomato juices stick onto those noodles beautifully. It's dishes like this that is just so rustic visually beautiful and is packed with flavor. It's salty, it's tangy, it's bright, and yet has that kind of earthy, deep flavor from the tomatoes. I love making dishes like this because the oven literally does most of the work. And if you roast a larger batch of the tomatoes and chickpeas, then you can have that on hand and you have this delicious meal ready to go. I just love the kind of golden color and the mixture of those beautiful, colorful tomatoes. And by the way, if you love easy and delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out the Vegan Rum Cookbook and the Cook with Confidence Cookbook. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check these out, take a sneak peek inside the book, or to order your signed copy. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.